Welcome to Joey C TV, guys. I'm freaked out. You're gonna see in this video that well, there's two places I filmed, but the second place here tonight is this uh, abandoned motel. Now the crazy thing is, I was filming and I was doing my intro, and the camera like went flying. I don't. I never seen anything like it. I'm I'm surprised it's not broken. Um. The other thing is, is that you'll see me walk around this place and it's, it's pretty much daylight, it's just getting dark. I go to the car to get my phone because I want to do like um, a voice recording, I want to do um, the Necrophonic app. Needless to say, <laughs> I uh, after my camera got thrown, it was still recording so I'm like alright well I'm I don't know if maybe it just fell. It was just a weird thing, but it looked like it went flying. Like, hard to explain. It didn't look like it just fell off the windowsill. The other problem is, is that I recorded and I did my recording. I picked up voices on it. You know, I was asking questions right here where I'm standing. So I went back to the car, tried to shut the camera off. It wouldn't shut off for anything. So I don't know if it's because of the fall. None of that footage is here. So I had to do it over. Anyway you're coming with I stumbled across this abandoned motel and man this place is uh, it's awesome it's creepy as hell starting in the back here so I noticed there was a couple of buildings and we'll check out the front but look at this place I don't know what that is over there, if that's somebody's house or part of this place. I'm assuming that's somebody's property over there, not affiliated with this. Yikes, look at all this stuff. Looks like somebody was definitely living in here. McDonald's toys in there. There's lots of Bibles I've seen around this place. Lots of Bibles. Let's go this way. Because I think there's another building back here I wanted to check out before we check out the main facility. Maybe there's not. Maybe I'm incorrect. Oh my gosh, look at this. Whoa. Look at this. Wow, okay, that's really, really bad. I don't even know what that hole is from, but... You could fall in one of these holes and you'll wish you uh, never came back here. Alright, let's see. Maybe there is another part of a building over there. I still can't believe this. Look at that. that cars come back here often. I just don't want to walk up on somebody's property, it looks like. Looks like there's a shed here. Let's, uh, let's go this way. <laughs> Definitely don't want to walk up on somebody's property. Now I have the external mic on this because the sound on the GoPro is terrible without it. However, I took the little fuzzy windbreaker thing off it 
because it was actually getting in the frame of the film. So I hope that it's a little windy. I hope this is doing it justice. As you can see, of course, we're right by a pretty busy road. So Regal Inn. <laughs> Very regal, majestic place here. Like I was telling you, there's Bibles out. I don't even understand why there's Bibles out. I checked this door, it's locked. Can't get in, this door is locked. The rest of the place is pretty empty from what I can see, but let's see if we pick up anything here. pretty well gutted right down to uh, the cement floors of course there is a very nice looking mattress if a uh, box spring rather if anybody's interested let me know any spirits here can you let yourself be known This is what I was trying to get to from the outside this shed. Of course, like I said, there's a house right there, so I was trying to not go near their property at all. Ah, uh, this is a cool shed. I would love to have this. Welcome to Joey C TV. So today you're going to see two different videos on this video. You're going to see me doing a creepy abandoned house and now this creepy abandoned motel. Don't know much about these places, just random explorers. Um, curious if I'll pick up anything in here because this place just has that vibe like, I don't know, it's just spooky. That's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, you're coming with. Let's do this. Oh, I 
quite a creepy, creepy place. The birds are chirping louder than ever. These sliders, I wonder what they would have opened up. It's like, looks like there was a window here. Like, I don't understand what the purpose of this entrance would have been with all this in the way. And again, another Bible. I think this is pretty much it, guys, huh? What's interesting, the whole place is open, except these little ends. Like, the end here looks like it's locked. And that is certainly locked. The end on that end is also locked. Makes you wonder what's lurking inside these buildings. What are they hiding? What the hell was that? That is so strange. There's nobody in here. It almost sounded like something banged in one of these rooms and I don't see anything in there, so... Back, guys, I'm gonna grab my necrophonic. All right, guys, so back here, like I said, is where I was doing the uh, recording and I was asking questions, and I think I picked something up. Don't have any of the footage because something happened, the camera like fell and now malfunctioned, and uh, it never happened before. So let's try this again. I can't believe all that footage I lost. But I was standing here and I was recording and I feel like there's something back here, right? So I'm like, well, this is a perfect spot. And uh, gotta tell you guys, I'm a little freaked out about what happened because uh, I don't really have an explanation why the camera went flying. So I'm thinking something didn't want me here. But I'm gonna try this again. Hopefully I get the same results. Are there any spirits here? Not only is, are there any spirits here, but was it a spirit that knocked my camera over?
Can you tell me your name if you're a spirit or tell me my name? All right, guys, let's listen to this back. Are there any spirits here? Not only is, are there any spirits here, but was it a spirit that knocked my camera over? So that really is not conclusive if there's anything on there. So let's try it again. Some different questions. If there's a spirit here, can you tell me why you're here? Is there something evil here? And did you knock my camera over? Do you want me to leave? All right, let's try this one. This spirit here, can you tell me why you're here? Is there something evil here? And did you knock my camera over? Do you want me to leave? All right. So I'm pretty sure I didn't pick up anything that time. What stinks is the first time I'm pretty sure I did, yet I don't have any of that footage. It's the weirdest thing, like, and my camera was up here, leaning against this, and it had enough support to hold it, and the camera literally flew up and went down on the floor right there. How did that happen? Like, it, it could have fallen, don't get me wrong, but it almost like went up and then down, so. I don't know. Seems like a light came on too. All right, so if the spirit's here, why did you, did you try to damage my camera? Do you not want to be known? Did you want me to leave? Is that why you did that? I'm not afraid of you one bit. And I come with, I'm not, I, I don't mean any disrespect whatsoever. Will you make that fan turn? Show me that you're here. Can you make that fan turn, please? So I don't know if that was road noise, but it sure as heck sounded like something made a, a breathy noise behind me here. I'm going to try one last time for the Necrophonic app uh, to use it and then we're going to leave. Uh, I'm just really disappointed I lost that footage and I can't replicate what just happened. Like I, you know, I wish I could, I'm pretty sure like I was asking questions and I heard whisper responses. I don't think I caught that again. It's a little, uh, a little disheartening. I can't explain why the camera went flying. I can't explain why I'm so just not feeling safe here, but we're going to try the Necrophonic app. Spirits, if you want to communicate through this device, please do so. Let me know you're here. Who knocked over my camera?
Am I in danger here? Say my name. Oh, I got the chills, man. <laughs> Is there anything you want to tell me? I say if you knocked my camera over, you're a punk. You gonna do something about it? Alright. Good night. Alright, so the camera just shut off. Um, not sure why. I think it's time for me to leave here anyway. Got a lot of driving to do tonight. Love and peace. This is one spooky abandoned house. Random place. Christmas stuff. <sighs> this is definitely one of those places that like just get a bad vibe right away. Is there anybody in here? Hello?
those back rooms of all that mold. It's just too, too much to breathe in. something but maybe just the old house creaking that door from inside was bored off so you can't go in there Any spirits want to talk? Now's your chance. So this is uh, so moldy. Look at that, it looks like my reader glasses that I wear. Interesting.
All right, guys, so this was way too moldy, but I'm wondering if I may have picked up anything in there. Who knows? We'll find out. Go in love and peace. Welcome to Joey C TV. So I'm actually on my way back. I just visited my kids in the Carolinas. Had such a great time. On my way back to Florida, I passed another abandoned motel that almost looks exactly <laughs> like the one I filmed the night before. It's so weird. And it's in the middle of nowhere. I mean, in the middle of nowhere. It's spooky. Uh, what did I do with my phone? That's weird. I had my phone out. Anyway, uh, we're going to check this out. This one looks in a lot nicer condition, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But it looks just like the other place you're coming with. Let's do this. All right, guys. As I mentioned, look how similar this place is to the one I just filmed. And... Uh, uh, this is all rotted away, the roof and everything. I wonder if any of it's open, that I don't know, but I could see plenty of furniture in here. Look at this. Oh, that's so weird. I saw the car headlights reflecting. It made me uh, think somebody was walking through here. And I'm sure this is, yeah, that's locked. Again, this one, look, has the Bibles outside. This may be all locked up, but that I don't know. Talk about a spooky place, guys. There's really nothing out here. It looks like at one time they were going to fix this up, maybe. I don't know. Is locked. Okay. Locked up. These are empty rooms, I suppose. anything really to see. I can't believe like it's the same style like the other hotel. I guess this is a popular style. I'm actually in South Carolina. The other place also was in South Carolina, so interesting. Monitored by video camera. This looks like it's used for storage now. Look at that snake skin. Look at that. Look how big that is. I think that snake skin. Oh, there's a snake. I just said there's snake skin. 
That looks like a poisonous snake, guys. That snake right there, I forget what they're called. But uh, you don't want to get bit by that. Okay. I mean, there's, there's a highway there, but like cars pass by like very seldom. Okay, there's a dead bunny rabbit. That's sad. I guess if you know this doesn't pan out to be much here. I can always put it at the uh, the end of the video of the place that looks just like this, <laughs> so you get a uh, get to see this footage. See, that's what happens when you go to places like the place that I did the other night was terribly scary, and uh, this is creepy, but there may not be much to this to really you know like get inside and look around, you know. And one thing I'll never do is I'll never break into a place. It's just not going to happen. But we'll, we'll take our chances, walk the other way. If not, we'll just have a quick little video here. Got to watch out for snakes, obviously. but it sounded like somebody talked right behind me. Okay. So it appears that, you know, I'm not trying every door, but you can just tell that they're closed, like locked up, you know? So, in case anybody's wondering why I'm not trying them, that would be the reason. Oh, look at this, Barbie's here, she left her Jeep. the second time I thought I heard it sounded like somebody like talking behind me. Strange. And it's official. This place is on the lockdown. Like I said, there's really nothing around here. I guess this would have been at one time maybe a lodge for like over the road truckers, you know. pass by but not that much like kind of seldom so 
the toilet in there looks relatively new. So it looks like somebody was trying to fix this up. But I, I guess this would be like a crazy money pit. Look, look at that spider. Like just to probably put a roof on this place and mold remediation's gotta be a fortune, like probably more than it's worth. Places had you know the Gideon's Bible in each one. There's a certain element of spooky here, though. Looks like maybe people were living in here at one time. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Alright guys, so it sounded like I heard a couple of voices, but I don't know, it could have been maybe other noises that made me think that, I don't know, I can't wait to play it back and see. Uh, no way of getting in here, I'm not going to break in, it's just not something I would do. Um, was contemplating doing a necrophonic app, but I got to get on the road guys and Hope you have a, ni a nice night. Go in love. Go in peace.